practically just sit there and look for drugs. It's pretty much whatever what people do. Everything was there, like everything was just, everybody just said to you, hey, you looking for this? And you'd be like, yeah, and then they'd go and get it. The first time somebody's ever sold any kind of a drug to me was at the mall. And like, then I started to realize, oh, that's where I could get my drugs. So that's why I started hanging out there and stuff. I usually went there at around 12, 12-ish, and stayed there until about 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock, depends on what day. It just goes by really fast. Like, especially when you're on drugs, it just goes by really fast and you don't know. Like, you're just having too much fun to realize what, what time it is and like, you don't really care. You just want to have fun. We sleep in, uh, over by where the seals are, there's like a whole bunch of plants and stuff, so we'd sleep under the plants so cops wouldn't see us or security. Or sometimes we'd sleep in the back hallways where there's no cameras and stuff. At first it was really hard to get out of it, and then I started to realize, okay, I really have to try, and I know I can do this if I just try. And if I find something else better to do, I know I could get out of it. Every single security guard and cop in West Edmonton Mall knows my name. My first name and my last name. They know my age, they know everything about me. And it's because of my past. Um, I got a lot of parents that are having problems with this. Ruining their lives, straight A students, knives, drugs, booze, and guaranteed if that mall was more strict than what they are now and left those kids that are supposed to be in school, put a band on them between 8 and 4.30, that would be the best thing that that mall's ever done. Yeah, congratulations. You're the proud owner of no school. Our next spell. Yep, another one. And this is all because that mall. Yep, because she gets choked at the teachers or choked at people. Where does she run? Mall. And that mall is way too close to the schools. <sighs> like, I, I disagreed with everyone. Oh, I'm not going to mess up my life. It's not going to be... I'm, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that, this and that, but it is, it, you do end up getting in a lot of trouble and like it, you do end up ruining your life, like I really ruined my life and now I'm trying to get my life back. She says she's still bored but she doesn't head to the mall all the time now. Yeah.